Hey, back again. I uh, just want to actually give you a video about the HW101. <clears throat> uh, after showing you how to tune it up, I only had probably no more than 30 seconds, so it wouldn't make much sense to try to explain much about this. But I got it from a fellow, I believe in the Midwest somewhere. Um, <clears throat> it was advertised as working fine. And, uh, yeah, you know how things are when they say that. It did work, though it had lots of little issues. When I'd gotten it, I have a tendency to want to take everything apart when I get something for the first time, just to see how everything works. It's good that I did, because during shipping, it must have taken a bit of a knock, as one of the 6146s had popped out of its socket. In addition, an electrolytic capacitor had been poorly replaced, and the solder soldering job was uh, as such that it was a cold joint and so any it wasn't really actually um, soldered to the actual pad so when that uh, received that knock it just popped off so I'm glad I checked I checked inside because I found those two issues and imagine trying to tune this thing up with uh, one of the 6146's out of the socket that would be interesting huh um, and I did lots of little things to this. I fixed that capacitor. I um, checked all the resistors, replaced one that was burned. Surprisingly, all the resistors in this thing are actually intolerance. It's kind of weird. It sort of creeps me out a little bit. It makes me wonder if I really did it right. Though I've been checking many resistors over the years. And I've checked many resistors over the years. So <laughs> it's just it's strange because everyone says about how these things have uh, you always check these things for having out of tolerance resistors and they will have lots of them but this one does not have any it's very strange um, someone had put a 12 AX7 um, where a 12 AU7 should have been in the modulator board I believe it was and that was just weird so I replaced that with a, a 12 AU7 I tested a few of the tubes uh, test, excuse me, I tested all the tubes, replaced a few, I believe I replaced that 12AX7, I replaced the 12AT7 on the bandpass board, and I replaced the 6EA8, oh, I'm not sure where, but I replaced that as well. I also lubricated the VFO as, when I asked the guy, uh, how it, how, how, you know, did the VFO turn smoothly, he said it was like silk, and when I got it, it was like rocks. <laughs> but just a little bit of lubrication... Um, in the area um, uh, right where the shaft goes into the VFO assembly in the front right here um, just a little bit of lubrication fixed it um, it uh, soaked into the bearings and freed them up and it's it's much much nicer now um, other than that I'm trying to think what else I did to it I re replaced the um, uh, SO239 connector in the back that was uh, starting to the um, that was starting to break break down um, and it didn't look that reliable so I replaced it and that's about it I'm probably forgetting a few things but I had to do a little bit of work to this guy but now it works great so let's cruise around 20 meters and see what we hear I will add that 20 meters is in not, not very good shape at all today, so um, I'm not sure what we'll find. Let's Strangely high level of noise, too. Seems like the only strong signal out there.
Yeah, it's cold out here too. Temperature is probably about, oh heavens, 25 degrees. For all my European friends, probably about negative 5. Not sure where that noise is coming from. That's news to me. Certainly loud to say the least. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, the band's in a little tough shape right now, and I'm not sure where that noise is coming from. Usually, you don't get too much noise around here. Maybe someone's running an electric drill or something, or doing some sort of renovation somewhere. Um, I'm also going to be putting up a new antenna today. Um, I'm going to try to put up a, a dipole in my usual place I've had it, but uh, the wind took that down in the summer. So I'm going to go out there today and have a have a go at trying to get it uh, back up again. So hopefully you enjoy the tour of the uh, HW101. Um, and thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Hopefully you're having a very wonderful holiday season and for all the... Um, Everyone else, thanks for watching my videos, and let's see if I, hopefully if I'm on a roll, I guess I'll make uh, some more videos today. Let's see what we uh, can find. Take care, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.